Hi guys, this is the Bold and the Beautiful review. Okay, we're going to be talking about um, the Avon family. Of course. Woo! That was good. But uh, before that, we need to talk about the, you know, Thomas, Caroline, Reg, Bell, those people. Mm -hmm. So um, we got Brooke, okay? She's um, went to the office. She's like, Caroline. Oh, Caroline. Congratulations for the baby. They're hugging. And Caroline is just like, oh, why? <laughs> I'm in pain now. Like, why do I have to hug her? Mm. No, I don't want to do it. Um, Brooke is just like, you know what, guys? I'm not sure of what's going on here, but mm, something's going on. That's what she wanted to say, but she's not saying it. She's just asking questions like, why is uh, Thomas gone? Okay, why isn't he here? Okay, y'all are saying that his designs were not as good, but you sent him to Paris how how is he gonna fix things his if he is far away from you guys and um that doesn't make sense i don't understand why caroline and risk think that they can lie to people like that and they're not gonna figure it out like especially brooke brooke knows about the vasectomy it, it doesn't the, the whole story doesn't make sense like Rich, you tell her about uh, the vasectomy, you tell her about you wanting to reverse it, you tell her that it's no longer possible, but you don't tell her about you reversing it? There's a problem. There's a problem. She knows that there's something going on. She might not be thinking that Caroline is cheating on you, that maybe, you know, you use somebody else's sperm. We don't know. She doesn't know. Well, we know, but she doesn't know. So... She's like, that doesn't make sense. Something is going on. She knows that. And maybe that's why Thomas is here today. Maybe she sent Thomas a message. She's like, you know what? You need to come back home. And Thomas, you before leaving, you needed to talk to your sister, to Rick, to somebody in charge, somebody that could do something for you. I don't understand why you just left, okay? And I, I mean, you left your bags. You, I, I didn't see you packing any bags, okay? Like, you left your stuff. You didn't talk to anyone. You just left because daddy told you so. And now you, you're you coming back. And I don't know. I, I feel like he needed some backup. He needed his sister at, at the very least, you know? Yeah. And we have um, Bill who is not okay with his niece being pregnant with Rich Forrester. He feels like that Thomas was better. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not even surprised by that. I just, I mean, I just feel like his scenes with Caroline are just so unpersonal. Like, you, I don't feel the family bond, the uncle-niece relationship here. Why are you guys only meeting at the office? Why are you guys never going to, to a restaurant or, you know, go, going to each other's place? I don't know. Go to, to Caroline's house, apartment, whatever. Or maybe Caroline going to your house, Bill. That would be nice. I don't see any kind of relationship. Car Katie only goes to see Rich. She never, she never has a one-on-one -on -one with Caroline. She only sees... She, she always goes... Um, to to the office to see Ridge to talk to Ridge and never Caroline but Caroline is your niece so why why are you always seeing your ex fiance I don't get that part but it's okay um Zenday and Nicole now they have um th I have to say how this scene with them in the beginning was just so didn't make sense to me not just them at first, Zanday came in um, the Forrester mansion and he saw Maya, Maya, Rick, and Nicole. And he was like, okay, so what's the decision? What did you decide? And I'm just like, but who would do that? Who? Like, you're. The, I feel like he should have said something like, um, Nicole, maybe, um, hey, uh, I'm here. Can we just go outside? Or maybe we should go to dinner. Maybe, uh, you know, let's talk in private why are you talking in front of rick and maya who are affected who will be affected by nicole's decision so i i i felt like that was weird okay and um 
no, that was weird. So, um, Zende and Nicole started talking, and Zende was like, okay, I already know what you decided. Like, you're doing it. Damn. Why? This is, I don't want to put the brakes on us. I, I feel like this baby is going to come between us. Yeah, it will. I just feel like we cannot do what we want to do now because we can't we can't go dance we can we can't go to places and Nicole was just like but pregnant women still dance and I'm just like that's not the same thing you're pregnant with another man's child and actually you're pregnant with his uncle's child and I'm sorry but Maya and Rick are gonna be all over you they're gonna watch what you eat what you drink where you they, they're, they're gonna want to know where you're going and they're gonna be like uh, no we don't want people drinking around you we don't want people smoking around you uh, we want you to be safe at all times okay we don't want you to go to any shady places where you know criminals can be at we want you safe <laughs> there's a problem okay Nicole you're not gonna be able to live your life the way you want to live your life for nine months and I feel like Nicole doesn't know what she's doing and I find it so surprising that um she actually went to see a psychologist and they approved of her going through with this she's so young she doesn't know what she's doing she just wants to please her sister and all I can hear about is how much she owes her oh she gave me that life she gave me the family because of her I have a job because of her I met you Zende and I'm just like no no, 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 stop it. You did a lot for your sister too, okay? Without her, you you feel like you might have not gotten the things that you have right now, but without you, she might have not gotten the things that she has right now because you're the one who talked to Rick when she was ready to leave town. You're the one who said, Rick, she really likes you, she loves you, she wants to be with you, she feels like you gave up on, on her and that you don't want to be with her anymore. And that's the reason why Rick went to see her and found her actually so you gave a lot to your sister you just don't realize it and she doesn't thank you for it okay that's the difference you thank her for the things that she's done for you but she doesn't thank you when you do some things for her so you don't realize that you're doing things that helps her You're helping her, but you don't know. Oh, she, she's, she's just so, ooh. And you have Maya talking with Rick uh, in the kitchen, and she's like, you know what? Zende is not going to persuade her to do anything, okay? Because I know my sister, and she's not going to bail out on me. And that says everything to me. Because when you talk to Nicole and you say things like, oh, you don't you don't have to do it. You can bail. Even at the last minute, you can still bail on me. I don't mind. You know that she won't do it. That's what you're saying it. You're saying it because you know she won't do it. And you have you, you listen to her saying that, you know, that would be kind of me. That wouldn't that wouldn't be nice of me to do that at the last minute. You know how your sister thinks. I just don't like them. And then we have Papa Papa Avant, okay? Mr. Avant, Julius Avant showing up. And he's like, you know what? Maya, I am willing to try to accept you, whoever you are. And I'm just like, okay, we're going to finish that episode like that? Are we really going to be doing that? Because, I mean, that's nothing new. I've heard that before and the a couple of months ago that's how the episode ended with Mr. Avon saying well I will be trying to accept you hugging his uh, daughter and saying I will try like why are we doing this again <sighs> whatever so um Maya cut that I will try to uh, accept whoever you are. And Maya was just like, I'm a woman. Okay. And Papa Avon said, yes, you are a woman. You are Rick's wife, Maya Forrester. And Maya was just like, okay, what's, what's, what's going on? And Julius is talking about how he wants to spend some time with Eric. 
play golf and that um by the way <laughs> he sold everything that he owned so he could come and live here in California I was just like mm -mm. my worry you got a problem <laughs> you got a problem so um Maya's just like, okay, but you should have talked to me before moving in here. And I'm just like, you own the country? You own the city? You own the street? You don't even own the house that you live in. Okay? Eric does. So please, Maya, calm down. And um, Nicole is supporting her, uh, her sister once again and she's like I, I don't understand why you guys are here what's the point mm, I don't like this at all and I'm just like even though I love this scene I'm just thinking the last time we saw Julius and Vivian Avant was at the wedding so we didn't get the chance to see what happened to their relationship what was the conversation after that how did Julius um, take his wife staying at the wedding and not coming with him what was the conversation about like what did Julius say after that what was their conversation about? Like, I'm pretty sure he was mad and pissed off. But I would have loved to see that. Vivian and Julius going at each other. It would have been nice to understand, like, what's going on with their relationship. And I find it so weird that Maya did not even care about her mother. Because, I'm sorry, like, your, your mother is going back to an angry man. Okay, because I'm pretty sure Julius was sad and angry and hurt. So, you're not worried about your mother. You're not worried about her relationship, your family. You're living the life. Okay, good for you. Hmm. So, anyways, Papa Yvonne is, like, moving in here saying that, you know what, he's ready to accept uh, Maya and whoever she is. Nobody's buying it. Nicole, I find Nicole very funny because she's saying what everybody's thinking. Papa Avant, you're here for the money, okay? You're here for the lifestyle, okay? Not to accept your daughter. <laughs> no, 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 no. So uh, Maya's just like, you know what? I'm going to test my daddy. So I'm going to tell him about the, the surrogacy. So Maya's just like, you know what, daddy? Um... Rick and I, we're going to have a baby. We want a baby. So, Julius is just like, okay, y'all are going to adopt. Oh, I'm so happy for y'all. I'm I'm all for it. I'm clapping. I'm against it, but I don't care. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to be clapping for you. Yes, that's good. Adopt a child. And then Maya says, well, I want that baby to be part Barster and part Avon. So, Julius is looking like... And I was laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. I was just like, <laughs> his face was just like, I don't understand. What are y'all talking about, boo-boo? We know that you can't have the baby, so what are you trying to say? And Maya's just like, the answer is Nicole. Because of Nicole, we're going to have a baby part farce or part Avant. And the daddy's just like, what? Nicole, you sleeping with your, hu with your sister's husband? Damn it. I was just like, Julius, no, that's not it. That's not it. It was so hilarious, guys. It was so funny. I can't, I can't deal. Like, <laughs> and Maya was just like, no, 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 no. You know, she's, she's, she's going to be carrying my child for me. Julius is just like, I don't understand. I, I, please make me understand. I don't understand. You better make me understand quickly because I'm about to lose it. Okay? And Maya's just like, you know what? We're going to use Rick's sperm and Nicole's egg and shove it. Julius was like, whoa, no. Stop this. No, I don't agree. I don't accept. It's not okay. Okay? And Maya's just like, you know what? You don't get to tell me what to do. And um, uh, Vivian was like, listen to your daughter. 
You're not listening, Julius. I'm just like, no, he understands what's going on. Okay? He understands. <laughs> And Julius is just like, ah, 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 I'm not allowing this. You manipulated your sister into doing this. That is not okay. You're using your sister. That is, no, no, no. That you, you chose your life, but don't start hurting my other daughter, okay? You're not gonna be hurting Nicole. You're not gonna be using Nicole. That is not happening. And Nicole was just like, and Nicole, Maya was just like, this is my house, okay? Have you forgotten where you at? This is my house. Okay? And just was like, I don't care. I zero fucking care. I don't care. Nicole ain't gonna be helping you. And Nicole said, um, daddy, yes I am. Do do do. That's how the show ended. Do do do. Whoo! I was just like, damn, Julius, you're about to lose your mind. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so um, that was the the episode, guys, and I can't wait for Julius to bring Maya down. I really hope that because um, I think people thought that, especially BNB, thought that we would be angry with Julius, we would hate Julius, but we kind of like him. We kind of like him more than Maya, actually, because Maya, yeah, she has that sub story about how she was a transgender woman and she suffered, she was in pain and she was alone, but Julia suffered too, and he kind of sees that um, Maya uses people. Okay, she 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 can't be mean, and she can she she tries to get things out of people. She's a gold digger, just like he is. <laughs> But, oh, uh, yeah, I love me some Papa Avant. I love him. He's hilarious. <sighs> I hope he's going to stay here for a while. And I want him to team up with uh, Bill Spencer because that could be really good. Mm-hmm. I do see him. Okay, so, guys, that was it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, like me on Facebook. It's Soiree on Rose slash the back 33. Um, follow me on Twitter. It's Soiree on Rose. See you guys very soon, okay? Ciao, ciao, bye, bye, bye. Ooh.